Sean Swill with InGimmick.com in our beautiful sunny mountains of Colorado, testing out the brand new Jolbo Density Sunglasses. These guys right here. These just came out and I sent them over for us to test about a month ago and I've been using them pretty much every day for biking, for hiking, camping, uh, a little bit of fishing last week, and of course it's general use uh, in Denver. So in this review, I'll cover the features of this particular one with the, the reactive high contrast categories one through three photochromic lenses, these guys right here, the fit features and functions of these sunglasses. Let's get into it. Start things off with sizing. For reference, I'm usually a medium sized helmet, which I have right here, and I'll show you in that in a couple minutes how it fits with a mountain bike helmet. Um, you know, medium sized hat. And what's cool about these sunglasses is they're really adjustable. So these guys right here, you can bend them down, you can curve them in. The nose pad is very soft and adjustable right there. And then the frame, if you notice, there's not really a whole lot of a frame. It's basically this black part right there. The rest is lens, pretty sweet. Now these are aimed at more high output activities and for doing so we want to control moisture uh, condensation so we have vents right here that do a really good job of bringing air circulation through so when you're now doing whatever activities in my case uh, mountain biking you're not getting fog building up um, which is a nice <laughs> feature it's very simple just some holes but it keeps circulation going on so you can go out and do your high output activities so i've been using this for the last month um, for mountain biking hiking fishing um, I like to drive with my windows down on my truck and I don't like to get light in on the side and or you know random debris that flies around the air sometimes so I wear them for that the lens technology that's that's the big big selling point for Jolbo they have fantastic optics and their their photochromic lenses are just amazing they seem to last a very very long time in fact here's a pair of rush from 2020 that are still going strong you don't see any kind of degradation in the photochromic uh, technology some other sunglasses different brands i'm not going to name names but i feel like i get about year two good years of use out of them and i'm, I'm almost happy with that but i know from an ecological standpoint and a price standpoint that's not always um, best right so i just want to show you that these guys which I'm not treating very well. They live in my truck and they were my go-to glasses for mountain biking up until a month ago when the density came in. So they are still going strong and working really well. The specific lens on this is the reactive high contrast version categories one through three. So high contrast is going to, well, if I can translate this to you guys, is going to enhance, well, colors and contrast, which the benefit of that is gonna be if you are doing activity where you have variable terrain like, like we do here. This is like the most calm part, which is why I'm shooting the video here. But you know, if you're mountain biking, and you're in in encountering rocks and water bars and different terrain. So it's nice to have better contrast so you can see the detail and the depth of things so you can react accordingly. Now categories one through three, what does that mean? So uh, zero is clear, four is straight up glacier glasses. Um, so these are categories one through three. So good for low light all the way to bright sunny light. And I'm intentionally shooting this video at high noon. It is 12:30 here in Colorado, end of July. Sun is right there. It's not the most flattering light on me. I know it's kind of creating some weird shadows, but I wanted to show you the peak color for this particular lens. It's going to let in about 17% light. Now, if I was using this in the early morning before the sun is up. It's going to let in up to 70, I think 72% light. So quite a bit of light, almost clear, not, not clear, I'm not saying you can wear these at nighttime, but I definitely have worn them inside. Um, when I'm hiking through, um, you know, below tree line and the light comes bright and then it, the trees are there in nice dense forest and it gets dark again, or like an early morning start at dawn patrol. Uh, it's, it's nice to have one lens, one pair of sunglasses that just covers you from dark to bright. Which is great so however um in full disclosure i lent these to other engagement riders uh, and some of them were kind of turned off by the high contrast they were like why is it so bright I, you know it looks like it's tinted and it is tinted um it's a beautiful blue tint amber based um, but uh, the high contrast you know it's a little more exciting a little it's a little bit brighter looking and feeling than a typical sunglass in a category three however if that's not your cup of tea and it might not be there are several other 
reactive lenses in the lineup. Some that go zero to two, some two to four, many of them one to three. Uh, there's different technologies. Like for a good example, like here is a, a one to three right here, reactive lens. And as you can tell, it's a different looking, well, it's, it's like that cool multicolored kind of 80s Pit Viper looking lens, but it has a different look to it as well. So kind of hard to translate, but it's a more traditional compared to the high contrast. So that might be more, you know, approachable for some people. But the high contrast, if you are, you know, if you need to see a detail, um, these are good for you. I can't wait to use them for split boarding because it's gonna be great as I get in the snow, I'll have the category three protection for the bright day, but still be able to see all the little parts of the terrain. So I like that idea. Now, the part you really wanted to come see, I'm sure, mountain bike helmet. Cool, this is the Smith N-Gage 2. God, I am getting eaten by these horse flies up here. <laughs> Bad bugs means for good fishing though. So here it is with the Engage 2 helmet, which we have a review on uh, two weeks ago on our Engagement YouTube channel. So as you can tell, really good coverage, really no obstruction. Um, it's a great fit. Ideal fit. So hopefully seeing it combined with a mountain bike helmet um, and going over the features and explaining to you what the categories are and what the photochromic technology can do, as well as you know, showing the frame and the adjustability. Hopefully that's all helpful. And if it was, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you've used the density from Jolbo and you'd like to share with others how you've used it and your takeaways, please start a conversation in the comments below. Love to hear from you. If you wanna see more content from Jolbo, we have a couple of their riders around the world testing out different sunglasses for them at the moment. So if you want to see that, stay up to date, consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel, link below. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engagement. Until next time, take care.